Today, July 3rd, is the Feast of St. Thomas the Apostle. I was just speaking with our Indian priests about him because he is buried in India. He went to India. So imagine traveling from Palestine to India 2,000 years ago with nothing but uh, the living Jesus on your lips and in your heart. And so Thomas, one of the 12 apostles with great confidence, goes to India and evangelizes the people there. So the faith in India goes all the way back to St. Thomas the Apostle. Thomas is known, of course, most profoundly as Doubting Thomas, as the one who was not present in the upper room when the risen Christ appeared. And he famously said, I will never believe that Jesus has risen from the dead unless I can touch his nail marks and put my hand into his side. So Jesus calls his bluff, uh, reappears the Sunday after Easter. That's why the second Sunday of Easter, Divine Mercy Sunday, is always the Gospel of Doubting Thomas and invites Thomas to touch his wounds, uh, to put his hand into his side. And Thomas responds, my Lord and my God. We see in the beauty of that moment the power of Jesus' wounds, these wounds that mysteriously remain even after the resurrection. One could logically wonder, certainly the mighty power that raised Jesus from the dead could heal a few nail marks and a spear gash, and yet Jesus' wounds remain after Easter. Indeed, as he ascends to heaven, he, he bears the wounds of the cross with him into his resurrected, ascended glory. Maybe those wounds remain to remind us of the cost of our salvation. Maybe those wounds remain to remind us that even though Jesus has risen from the dead, we still must carry the cross and we too will be wounded on our way to heaven. But those wounds in the light of the resurrection become portals of mercy and of healing. So it's by touching Jesus' wounds that Thomas comes to faith. By entering into those wounds which have now become trophies of victory over the power of sin and death. So it's as if the Lord is showing his wounds and saying, look what hatred and evil did to me, and yet I have triumphed. So those wounds that on the cross looked like defeat are now trophies of victory for us. We too can touch Jesus' wounds when we dare to love others in their need. We too can touch the wounds of Christ when we reach out with mercy, with compassion, with prayer to those who are suffering. To dare to touch the wounds of another is to come into direct contact with the risen Christ. And so today as we celebrate the, the gift and the patrimony of St. Thomas and the legacy of his life, we pray that we too may come to faith by touching the wounds of Christ in our suffering brothers and sisters.